Hey guys, how you doing? This is Maximum X Gamer. Welcome to this video. This is a PS3 setup video designed to help you hook up the uh, PS3 via the component cable through the Hopog HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition. Uh, this is a quick overview of what to have before you start. You need the two HDMI cables and the PS3 component cable that came with the HD PVR2. On the back of the PVR2 you have the AV in and the HDMI out. Now they're the only two things you really need to know about as far as, far as the PS3 setup is concerned and basically get to know the wires that come with the box and these illustrations are here to help you slow down the video, stop whatever you need to do they're there as reference so but don't worry there is an actual live version of the setup and this is not just diagrams so to start off with you need to familiarize yourself with the AV component adapter or connector now this is uh, a very small adapter which is uh, one of the last things that you'll find in the uh, unboxing video that I've done so don't forget to check that out and uh, basically you need to line up the three video color coded cables with um, the component side and then the two audio with the component audios just in case you wasn't sure this is the component cable that came with the uh, HD PVR2 like I said there's a little bit more um, description and I've taken a little bit more time showing you the cables in the unboxing video so if you need to see it in a little bit more detail check that out all you need to do is match up the two audio cables with the AV adapter so as you can see here you have the red matched up with the red color and then the white with the white both audios is clearly marked on the cable well, what I liked about the uh, new PVR2 is the AV adapter they've kind of paired them together so they've made it very obvious what the two audio cables are and what the three video cables are so just like the audio you match up the three video cables so you match the blue with the blue the green with the green and the red with the red it's very straightforward but if you stumble in the beginning if you don't grasp the concept you will um, always get it wrong so it is very simple if you're familiar with it from previous uh, PVRs so once you have both sides connected you have now created the connection point which you need to use for the uh, HD PVR you need to connect your PS3 component cables via the AVI adapter into the AV in section of the HD PVR2. So something worth uh, quickly pointing out is the adapter has a little push button on one side that you need to connect so that when you are going to take the adapter out of the PVR you need to press that button. As a reference that push button should be on the bottom side of uh, the adapter before you place it into the HD PVR2. On the other side is very straightforward um, you need to connect the component adapter in the multi AV out port on the, the PS3. And again this is uh, another reminder of for what I've shown you earlier and this time you know it might be a little bit more familiar and on the other side you need to just uh, have a HDMI cable plugged into the out section and that then follow through to the HDTV and you need to stick that into the in so basically you get the signal from the PS3 the signal comes back to the box via the in AVR in the signal goes into the box the box does what it needs to do and it then generates your signal to capture that signal comes out of the box via the HDMI out and that signal then goes back into the HDTV which is HDMI in, in the back of, on the back of your HDTV now how do we see that signal being recorded then you need to plug in your USB that comes with the Hopal HD PVR2 box and as you see on the back the illustration will show you that's where 
one side of the adapter goes in the square connector and the other side goes into the PC so now the PC will then be able to recognize the uh, footage now before you can get to that you need to make the box recognize the PC so in order to do that you need to load the drivers now this flashing light means that the the box is not actually recognizing your designated PC so you need to load the software that comes with the HD PVR2 this is very important even if you've had previous HD PVRs you need to reload the drivers for the new HD PVR2 there are some conflicting issues here and there is a letter that comes with the uh, box uh, which explains exactly what you need to do in case you run into that that fault however I never found that so to be on the safe side you need to go to the website which automatically sometimes connects you to if you're on the on the internet as a precaution download the latest drivers as far as the PS3 connection is concerned it should still be the exact same settings your video output settings to component D terminal and the audio should be the same because the signal goes through the component all except 1080p are viable choices and if you load the arc software you should see the signal coming through via your component option and you should see the playback image there this new HD PVR2 is compatible with Xbox 360 it can connect to anything that captures via HDMI except PS3 PS3 uses the M2TS format so make sure you have that uh, clicked if you're recording via the PS3 if you have the HDMI you will not receive any signals the HDMI video in and audio in is only for the Xbox 360 so as long as you remember that you should be okay and your HD PVR should pick up the signal and your PC should pick up it once you have all the latest drivers loaded onto your PC okay. now there is some teething problems and also there is a, a major flaw in the new system which potentially can throw a lot of new users off the actual whole idea of the new PVR2 so based on the uh, instructions that came with the HD PVR2 uh, there is a note in bold letters which states that uh, your HD PVR2 needs to be powered on for pass through video output to operate also the showbiz needs to have set the video in source correctly for pass through to operate this means that the HD PVR2 needs to be attached to your computer for the pass through to be initialized and in my opinion I think that's one of the biggest flaws uh, of this uh, HD PVR in the past you did not have to be connected at all times via your computer uh, for the pass through to work and because this is a HDMI and it does use a switch unfortunately the downside is that it needs to be on or initialized as they put it for it to work so you will find when you put your ps3 on and you've got your hdtv on there is no signal you need to have your pc on and your parg hd pvr2 powered for the pass through to work now depending on what you are playing on which console you're playing on xbox 360 or ps3 based on your uh, drop down choice that's what you will see when you turn it on so once you have the settings loaded as I can show you here you have multiple different settings within the new Arc uh, software uh, where you can edit your recorded footage you can change the different parameters including the brightness and uh, different audio and visual settings through the uh, options but if as long as you remember one thing for the ps3 you need to have the component setting as part of your settings so you will receive the signals if you've got it on hdmi you will not see anything make sure also that you have your hard drive or your pc uh, directory um, recognized and um, as you can see at the, uh, this mistake will happen it will come up as invalid path if for argument's sake you have a external hard drive not plugged in and normally where it would 
point towards something that you would normally be there but it isn't now that's what could happen so make sure that your save directory or the point where you want to save your footage to is a valid directory otherwise you will have the invalid path fault well guys i hope you like this setup video like i said there's lots of information here just take your time go through it obviously i will try my best to give you as much guidance as i can but everything is very new for me as well so please bear with me and uh, as always this is maximum max gamer here to help if you haven't uh, subscribed please do so and uh, please leave a thumbs up and i'll catch you later don't forget to check out the xbox 360 version uh, setup version and also i will try to do a FAQ and a um, troubleshooter video as well when I have the time.